this dude's trying to square up with me. Uh, hey, hey, <clears throat> frick, wait. Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to another episode of the group. I'm going to restart. Welcome back to another episode. These guys just won't stop squaring up with me. All right. Welcome back to another episode of the duo group Iron Man. Last video, we spent our time skilling a little change of pace from all the Slayer we've been doing to get the Ash Sync to fire, which is a very, very nice upgrade for training Slayer. Like I just had a Neck Reels task, uh, which is why I want to go and get it in the first place. And just from one task, we got over 14k prayer XP which makes me not want to think about all the prayer XP I've been missing out on by not having it, but we have it now. So the goal for now is to continue working on Slayer, working towards level 87 for the Tridents, and at the moment we are currently 80k XP away from level 86. So with that said, let's get back into the Slayer grind. Remember last video when I forgot to bring the Addy Ore to the Forsaken Tower to do the Diary task? I think I know what happened. I think I typed in adamant because I do remember like specifically searching for it. I think instead of just clicking on it, I think I just like accidentally like dragged it or something and then it got dragged into this tab. So I just want to wrap up those loose ends for myself. Thank you. I decided to go do a bit of agility because there's some quests, diaries, a bunch of shortcuts to unlock still. We don't even have graceful yet. So here we are doing some agility. There is level 66. Hey, we just got 64 prayer from bursting the Abbey Demons. Oh, bro, that's the second Abyssal Head. 368kc and that's two, bro. What? <laughs> oh, the strange RNG is kicking in again. I should get the sold bearer for all these insult heads. Just a reminder, it's a one out of 6k drop. You probably know by now that every time I switch back from the ancient spellbook, I use the lunar altar over here. And I always craft runes when I come here. And I've done this so many times at this point that we just got a whole rune crafting level just from trying to switch back to the regular spellbook, which is something I do quite a few times every day. Just like going between all the different Slayer tasks. Getting a little Hunter level before bed. 70 Hunter is a requirement for Song of the Elves. See, I do my birdhouse runs before bed, and when I do that, I bring two runs worth of like birdhouse supplies. So when I wake up, I could kind of just do the same run, but in reverse. There is 72 defense. Level 86 Slayer. One more level to go. Has a lot of XP. There's 87 magic. You need 93 magic to enchant Zenite jewelry, which means we could boost from level 90 uh, very easily with the Wizard's Mind Bomb. So I guess 90 magic is gonna be like the nicest milestone that we still have to go, but I am very sure that we'll get that magic level well before we get our first Zenite. Yes, whip number two. <gasps> Oh, I'm so glad we got that. Oh, and that was about 529kc. Um, I've done a couple extra kills since then. I'm so freaking glad we got that. Like, I've just been giving her my whip whenever I'd have a burst task, and then whenever my burst task was over, I'd get the whip back and just keep on mailing Slayer, because she's been doing Slayer too. So it's nice now, we're both gonna have our own. I think I figured out how the spoon works on this account. I think it's just like multiplied by two for me and Spook. You know, some of these drops just seem to come in twos, even if, uh, even if they're untradeable, <laughs> except for the D boots, but I'm sure it's gonna come soon. The reason why Spook's doing Slayer is because her magic level is only 60 something and she's gonna need 75 for the trident because I'm kind of trying to rush the tridents. So if she gets her Slayer up as fast as possible she could unlock Dust Devils and then just burst Dust Devils till 75 or even higher magic. And ideally with bursting Dust Devils you should break even in terms of GP. Spook was doing a bit of range and she just got to level 61 which means it unlocks the Rune Crossbow for her. She can't make her own Broad Bolts though because she doesn't have enough Slayer points to buy the perk, but luckily I do have that perk. So she gave me this GP because right now my cash stack is really low. So I'm gonna use all of this GP to buy some broad bolts for her or the unfinished broad bolts so I can actually make them. I've got a lot of feathers from birdhouse runs and we got another spiritual creatures task, which is really nice because we only have one dragon boots right now, which currently Spook has them. So hopefully we can get a second pair. That'd be cool to get a second whip and a second pair of D boots on the same day. And with that many to kill being a one out of 128 drop rate, there's a pretty decent chance we'll get them. Over 5,000 broad bolts made, not even a fletching level SMH, but those are going in the group storage for Spook and that's going to last her a very long time for range. Although I told her to focus on melee because meleeing Slayer is a lot faster, uh, speaking from personal experience. Oh, wait. <laughs> I, I got so distracted I wasn't even paying attention. I guess I just... I, I was trying to hit, hit the ones that were already aggroed, but I guess I hit one that wasn't aggroed by anything and I just wasn't looking. <laughs> Is it just free to get all this stuff back? I think you have to have like really valuable items. I don't think I 
Yeah, <laughs> that was free. Oh, as soon as we come back here, we get the freaking D boots. That was easy. Well, not doing this task ever again. Uh, 279 KC for the second pair of D boots. So that's pretty much on drop rate. And then uh, Spook has other D boots right now. So this is my new pair of D boots. This was a calculated sacrifice to get the boots. Everything I do is calculated, okay? Just so I don't forget for later, I'm gonna extend the Kraken tasks. Cost 100 Slayer points and we have plenty. Now let's crack on with the Slayer. Well, we're back here again and there is whip number three. Uh, if we check the KC here, 716 Abbey Demons for three whips. Uh, so that is once again kind of lucky and I guess in the future it's just going to end up being a Kraken Tentacle or a Kraken Tentacle Charge I should say because you have to recharge it with whips. Another freaking magic level, it's level 88. There is 73 attack, no way. Just the Ash Sanctifier doing its thing, there's level 65 prayer. We're going to do the Barrier Soul mini quest which unlocks the Soul Bearer which is an item that I haven't touched for like three and a half years or something because I never got it on the UIM. In fact, I never even did the mini quest on the account because there's no use for it. It uh, teleports and sold heads to your bank, but I mean, on the UIM there was no bank. So <laughs> we're gonna get the item for this account. Ah uh, yes, my daily reminder that I need to get agility up. It's level 70 for this shortcut, which I guess we could boost with a summer pie for that, but we don't have summer pies. But even more importantly, we need to get this one unlocked, level 80 agility. Uh, we really should have that shortcut before we start doing serb once we get this layer level for it. Okay, we're gonna talk to the key master over here and then he should repair it for us. And then that is going to be the barrier soul mini quest complete. And then from that we get the soul bearer, uh, which like I said, it teleports the insult heads to the bank, but it's not free. You charge it up with blood and soul runes and one blood rune and one soul rune is one charge and one charge is one insult head that you could send to the bank. So I will bring this with me for slayer tasks that drop and sold heads, but I'm not actually going to use it to send the heads to the bank unless my inventory gets full. Otherwise it's just like wasting charges. And those charges are kind of expensive for me right now. Yo, if you look at the insult demon head and then look at that, it's like... Well, I thought it was a bit more similar. Maybe it's not that similar. I don't know. Oh, there's a nice level coming in. 91 hit points. I guess you could argue that the Soul Bearer could have a niche use for UIM because it does allow you to store uh, the Blood Runes and the Soul Runes. So it's kind of like a, a mini rune pouch in a way, although you can't like use it from there, but you could store them. Oh boy, we made a lot of food today. I don't know what the occasion is, but we just felt like making a bunch of food. We made these biscuits. There's hummus, there's chickpeas or roasted chickpeas, which I'm about to season, and then there's the non-roasted chickpeas. More biscuits, pasta, and and then I recently got into making oat milk. So I just made like a big batch of oat milk and then put it into all these different containers. It's really easy. All you need is water and oats, and that's it. Some oats, brother. Well, you need something to strain it too. Well, Unless you want chunky milk. Yeah, I need a nut milk bag. <laughs> or a cheese cloth. This stuff is honestly so good. Oh yeah, living the dream. Okay, wait, I'm gonna start recording right here. Watch this smooth ass transition. Of course I wasn't wasting any XP. Now, let's get back to Slayer. Whoa, another Dragon Spirits, the second one. Mmm, I'm eating still. Um. <laughs> That's so good. We need that for the Artie Hard Diary. Oh, I'm using the Ring of Wealth. That's why I'm like getting more of these like extra rare drops. As you can see, that is a new collection log slot. That looks so funny in the chat box, just seeing it back to back with the Dragon Spare. Wait, that'd make a good screenshot actually. <laughs> All right, check it out. My first time using the Soul Bearer in like four years. Wow. That's crazy. There's 73 defense. Yikes, I just see that in the chat box. No one tell him. Level 74 attack. Look at that, we're so close. There's a pretty decent chance whatever task we get next will be the task that gets us to the level. Gargi boys, how iconic. Okay, we didn't get the level, but that means that this next task for sure is gonna be the one that gets us, wait, no. Okay, this one will be the one that gets us to 87. As I was doing the previous task with her matching, uh, I was just editing the last video and I got to the point where I got the D boots and I realized in the video when I got the dragon boots I said oh I have the dragon boots ornament kit I'll attach it after we leave here but I never end up uh, putting that kit on so let's grab the D boots out and then put the kit on there and there we go swagging out 74 defense this is it this is what all the slayer has led up to level 87 unlocks 
cave kraken. Okay, so we're gonna finish up this task and then you have to be on Slayer task to be able to kill cave kraken. So hopefully it doesn't take too long to get it. I don't even care about the fact that we're over 400k till the next Slayer level because we're just going for the tridents now at this point. I mean, once we get the tridents, we're gonna be done with Slayer forever. I mean, at this point, like, Slayer XP doesn't really matter and it won't for a while. We're gonna go for one cave kraken task for this video before we end, no matter what happens, whether we get no tridents, one trident, two tridents. Well, if we actually get two tridents from one task, then we'll probably end the video then. And I'm not gonna be like skipping and using up all my points um, to like go for it as soon as possible. I might be skipping more tasks than I normally would, but I'm not gonna be skipping everything to just get it right away. Okay, I'm skipping that though. Please? Okay, <laughs> no wait. While I've been here doing Slayer, I was looking at the wiki at uh, the Slayer Masters and their task weightings. Um, so this one is for Neve. It's a weighting of six for Cave Krakens right here. Um, but I subtracted all the tasks I don't have unlocked and then I did the same thing for Duradel as well. And I came up with the odds or the percent chance. So the odds of getting a Cave Kraken task from Neve is 3.5% with what I personally have unlocked and block slots and all that. 3.5% from Neve and then 4.9% from Duradel. So I'm gonna be sticking with Duradel. I just did the math for Konar and it would be a five point, almost 5.5% chance to get Cave Kraken from Konar. But there's so many other tasks that I would skip from her that's probably not worth the Slayer points because I'd just be wasting a bunch more points on skip tasks. I'll take my 4.9% Duradel odds. I'm happy with that. You know the Jetsons, that really old futuristic cartoon that your parents or maybe even grandparents watched when they were younger? Um, it takes place in 2062 and the dad from the show, George Jetson, he was born in 2022. He's 40 years old in the show and his birthday is August 27th, 2022 is what I read on like a Wikipedia or some kind of wiki article. Um, so if he was born August 27th, 2022, that means he was conceived around November 27th, 2021, which is this week. So if, I'm just letting you know, if any of you are hoping to get lucky and play the lottery and you're hoping to be George Jetson's dad, now is the week to do it. I was telling all of this to Spook and she just didn't respond, so I don't know what that means, fellas. 75 attack. We can now equip the arc light and all this other stuff. Spook's going for Bones to Peaches right now, which is going to be useful for so many things like God Wars and Slayer, and you just need it for the Diary too, of course, so giving her these runes. And just in general, she needs to get her magic up for the Trident, which we're hopefully going to get soon. Oh my god, <laughs> I'm taking a little break while I'm eating dinner to do some agility, and not only is this going to be an agility level, it is level 67, but it is also 1.7k total level. Feels nice. Whoa, there's 89 magic. Just kind of snuck up on me there. Good morning. You know what would be a great way to start the day? I saw a cave. I'm skipping so many tasks. Come on. Yes, we got it. Oh, 161 Cave Kraken. Oh, yes. Okay. This is it. Okay, heading over to the Cave Kraken lair. Uh, we're going to be killing the Baby Krakens. I'll show you why on the wiki. Here's the page for the Baby Krakens, or the cave, the regular Cave Krakens. The drop rate for the Trident is 1 out of 200. But if we go over to this page for the Kraken, the actual boss, and you check the drop rate for the Trident, it is 1 out of 512. So because of that, it would be in our best interest to go for the 1 out of 200 drop rate to get it as soon as possible. And then for my setup, I'm just maximizing the prayer bonus. Uh, I mean, you would want to maximize magic damage, but I don't even know if the imbued god cape even gives a max hit anyways. So just going with the max prayer bonus here. And that is because the baby cave krakens have not just no magic defense, they have negative magic defense. So magic accuracy does not matter. The Tome of Fire does not give the 50% magic damage boost for for Ivan's Blast, but it does still count as unlimited fire runes and it does not use up charges when you use Ivan's Blast with it. So here we go, first cave kraken. This is how it's gonna go, me just sitting here with Prey Mage on and we'll see what we get from the first kill and then we'll really get started with the task. First Casey and we get, nice loot, okay. Oh my God, <laughs> there's the trident. Okay, let's check the KC. Let's go down here to, where's the cave kraken? 32 KC for the one half 200. Oh my God. Uh, I mean, obviously we still have to charge it, but uh, there it is. 
<laughs> the trident. We still have to go for the second trident, so let's go charge this baby up, and then we'll probably never touch the Ivan Staff ever again, except for that one Master Clue step. The trident can hold up to 2.5k charges, and for each charge of the trident, which is just one cast, you need one death rune, one cast rune, five fire runes, and 10 GP. So we're gonna fully charge it up right here, add all 2,500 charges, and there we go, a fully charged trident. Oh, this is gonna be so nice. And you don't have to have any extra runes either. The spell is just built into the trident itself. So I guess we'll just grab the damage book, we'll replace the Tome of Fire, and we'll get back to it. First ever hit with a trident, and it is a six. Oh, I can't wait to use this. The really nice thing about the Trident is that, as you saw, it's so easy to recharge it. Instead of the Ivan Staff, you either have to go to the Well or whatever in the Underground Pass, or you can pay the Dark Mage 250k GP. But I mean, it, it's so much easier just having the Trident. Just use the runes on it and the GP and you're good. Don't have to like make an extra trip anywhere. I guess you technically do have to spend the GP, but still, it's just, it, it's better, it's better. Eventually we could upgrade to the Trident of the Swamp instead of the Seize one if we ever get the Magic Fang from Zora. I mean, when, when, yes, be an optimist. When we get the Magic Fang from Zora. The base max hit of the Ivan Staff is 25, no matter what your magic level is. But with the Trident, the base max hit scales based on your level. Um, so you could see this, is, you could like ignore the magic boosting gear, but just for the base max hit with no extra bonuses, this is what it is, depending on what your current magic level is at the time. So I'm level 89, I think. So my max hit is 24, so it is technically lower at the moment. Well, there we go. We're done with the Krakens. Uh, well, all right then. That that was kind of cool timing. <laughs> well, I guess we'll go and check the KC again, and that was 85 KC at Krakens to get two Tridents. Oh, well, game's so easy, bro. Just get the drop. Well, as I said before, I guess the RNG on this account just comes in twos. So uh, we're set for the Tridents now. There's still a few last things that we have to do before we start Burrows. So next video, we'll get started on like the Mauritania Hard Diary and probably doing some other skilling, like maybe agility and farm runs, get some more herbs to get Spook's herb level up for stamina. So I'm excited. We'll see what happens. We're wrapping up today with 1701 total level. Here's the character summary page. And also make sure to check out Spook Dog's channel, which is linked below in every video description. And with that said, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I hope that you have a great day, and I will see you again next time.